Hey, it's Unqualified Critics here. I get this in my inbox this morning. It's an update from Arcade One Up. It's an update on the FCC database from Arcade One Up more specifically. And uh, they always have this, this alphanumeric code in front of it, but then something descriptive about the product. And I saw Golden. And man, my first thought, Golden Axe. Are we getting a new Golden Axe? Are we getting a Pro Series Golden Axe? My mind's going crazy, you know, and then no. I click into it, and it's Golden T Legacy 3D Edition. Still interesting. This is actually an entirely new cabinet. This is not, almost certainly not, the Golden T Pro that we saw. And that Golden T Pro, if you guys remember, I did a video on that about a month ago. That wasn't officially announced, but the listing showed up on a website with a really convincing rendering. I'm still quite sure, uh, quite confident that that's legitimate. And it, because it was never announced, you might be thinking, well, that could have been a legacy cap. But no, it really can't because it doesn't have the riser. And that's clearly the key differentiation between the legacy cabs even the newest most recently announced legacies like centipede and the pro series the pro series has no riser um, as well as it just looks better and blah 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 anyway uh this is in my opinion good news i saw some comments i think uh kevgret was it you if you're listening to this video i think you specifically said hey eventually they're going to get rid of the legacy cabinets we had a debate in the comments which is great by the way i always love you know those discussions and the different opinions so don't think i don't that stuff's awesome for engagement and uh, and plus it's just fun to talk about so it's all good but my point was no i don't think they're going to do that if you think they're only going to do pro cabinets it's not the company's dna number one and their background really is in toys um, which some people like, some people don't like, but that's their background. Number two, that's what retailers expect from them are these low cost products. So my point was, I think the legacy cabs are here to stay. Now, I might have been Kev who said also, and, and if I'm mixing this up with another commenter, I apologize. But someone had said, well, I think eventually it's going to just be legacy cabs and pro series. That might be true because it is a little weird to have a cabinet in the middle a little hard to differentiate you know how do you square the regular golden t with the golden t pro well if it's a legacy cabinet you know a little lower cost but here's the other thing the legacy cabinets now and i think we've heard this recently are gonna have wi-fi because i mean that's why this shows up on their site to begin with this is an online connected cabinet will it have online multiplayer or will it just be high scores hard to say the safe money on this is just high scores um, which, when you're talking Golden T, is okay. I mean, playing heads up with someone would be a lot of fun. But uh, clearly, you know, this is a game designed for high score chasing. So uh, that is exciting. That's the biggest missing element of the original Golden T cabinet, which I very happily own. I've been promoting the hell out of that cabinet for the last couple of years because I think a lot of people who didn't look at it, who don't care about Golden T, myself included, by the way, before I bought that cabinet, I'd only ever played it in a bar once or twice. But the cabinet's really fun, has a lot of replay. So I'm excited to see Arcade One Up going back to this well. It's not another Pac-Man cab, it's Golden Tee. Now it's Legacy, are we gonna get more titles? But before I talk about that, um, I wanted to point out, you know, if you go through these links, if you all saw these videos a year ago, you knew we could look at photos of the cabinet before it was announced. Kind of like opening your Christmas present a little early and then wrapping it back up so your mom can't tell. Not that I did that as a kid or anything, but you can't do that here. I don't know if this is a new policy for FCC or if Arcade went up, just figured out how to use it, but they sign off on um, the confidentiality request. And so this stuff isn't going to go public until August 6th. So I guess set your calendars, but we really don't get any info. Uh, this is the only photo and it's just... It's not worth looking at. I mean, there's nothing here. But yeah, there's nothing nothing you can see here. We, we know we get a Wi-Fi antenna. Um, I'm sure it's the same Wi-Fi antenna they use everywhere else, which is to say perfectly fine for stacking up some high scores. But yeah, if you go through all this, you're going to see performance of the antenna. You know, who cares? This is just some standard, low-cost, super mass-produced Wi-Fi antenna. Nothing special about that. So that's that. But let's think about what games are we likely to get here? Well, the official name of the product is Golden Tee 3D Golf. And this actually is a title we did not get on the original Golden Tee. I used to think 3D Golf and Golden Tee Classic were the same thing. And Classic was a re-release. 
but I'm wrong. I think Classic was just the last game made in this engine of uh, 3D Golf. 3D Golf came out in 95. So this is not a title we got. You know, when we get Golden Tee 97, 98, 99, Classic, all that on uh, the original that a lot of you own that I did a review on a couple years ago. Well, this is a new title, but it's also new artwork. So we're going to probably have this artwork. Here's a better shot of it. Um, I don't know if there were multiple variants of this. It's you know clearly uses the four-player layout extra wide. I don't know why. You don't really need the, the real estate here. Um, technically, it's a four-player game. Maybe that's why. Not sure. The only question less left to answer is which games are we getting? Are we getting world-class bowling? We know world-class bowling, for example, is coming to the pro-line cabinet. Are we going to get it here? Maybe, but I could see leaving bowling out of this just to further differentiate this cabinet, the Legacy, with the Pro. Now, something that's confusing is they're really gearing up the Legacy cabs to have more titles than the Pro, which makes sense in one way. The Pro is more of a dedicated hardware kind of play. Um, and then here with the Legacy cabs, they're largely re-releasing titles we've had before, or actually I think exclusively so far of what they've announced re-release stuff. So why not put in a bunch of extra titles and give us that definitive place to play but wouldn't it be weird if the legacy golden tee ended up coming somehow with more titles than the pro golden tee that would be super weird um, i don't really expect that i'm expecting we're going to get the same titles as the original golden tee and then plus 3d golf but it'd be great to be wrong on that if they threw in a bowling game it'd be excellent i think we're gonna have to wait for an official announcement on this one but hopefully we hear something soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you plan on buying this. If you have your existing golden tee, would you trade it in on this one to get to Wi-Fi? Or do you want to wait for the pro line? Or are you kind of just happy with the one you have? I'll talk to you guys soon.